Well, if you're like me and you do a lot of built-in cabinets, custom cabinets that have countertops like this, you are going to run into the situation like this where you have to fit a countertop. And in this situation, especially, it's a little bit more difficult, right? Because I've got a drop-down cabinet on the side. So what I do, uh, instead of holding it, which I've done before, uh, put a block in that is the same height as the uh, drop-down. Now I've got a level surface, so I can then scribe this. Now, it's really simple to do this. What I'm going to do is set the cabinet, I'm going to set the counter on the cabinet so that the right edge is up against the joint, the rabbit joint on top of that middle cabinet there. You can see that. And that's going to give me the perfect square positioning for that counter. Now what I do is I bring that countertop so it's flush with the back edge of the cabinet right there. Then I go to the front and mark my scribes up to this distance right here which happens to be about a half inch. I have a quarter inch deep rabbit and that leaves about a half inch of material. So that's going to be about a half inch and I'm going to be removing from the left side about a half inch. Now on that back side and this cabinet side and that left side, everything's going to be perfectly square and fitting nicely when this is all done. This is really important because if you didn't do this, you could end up with a crooked counter. So as you can see, I set my scribes up to a half inch, go to the back wall, and carefully mark this. Now, when you change positions like I just did, just make sure that your hands are in the same position as they were before. So double check that line is in the same spot and that it's not in or out. As you can see that line right there. Now I already did that one on the left. Now here was a little bit of a mistake I made when I cut the panel. The countertop, I actually cut it too short. Um, it, I cut it a half inch too large, but it actually needed to be a little bit more than that. Now to cut this, you can use lots of different tools, but my favorite tool is the um, jigsaw. And I carefully cut it, put a little bit of a back bevel on it, as long as it's going to be a concealed edge, and fine tune it with the um, belt sander. Now let's go ahead and see if this is going to fit. Drop it down on that left side first. Now what I like to do is put the um, countertop in on the wall side first if I can, and then push down on the cabinet side. Because the cabinet's smooth and it's not going to possibly damage the wall as you're fitting this tight piece in. See how tight that is? If I were to put that down on the wall, it potentially would have scratched it, so you might want to put a little tape. Now you can see right there, this piece, although I didn't scribe anything on that front left, it was a little bit too short, but that's a really good fit right there. Now the next thing I want to do is just check the overhang, make sure that it's identical. In this particular case, it's an inch and three quarters, and it's identical on both sides, so we're good to go. Now that's the seam I was talking about when I referenced the right edge of the countertop right on that seam Then I knew I had to remove one half inch um, to um, make that left side tight. Now this particular one, the same thing goes here except we just have a back scribe to do. So I just want to make sure that that back edge is flush with the back of the cabinet and not tight to the wall, right? That's one mistake I think a lot of people make. They think they need to push the countertops up to the wall um, when they scribe, but really what you want to do is you just want to make that reference point um, away from the wall now, go ahead, do the same thing, cut this with the jigsaw. Now, of course, I have my helper taking that dust out from the bottom. The um, jigsaw dust collection is really good, but now I'm fine-tuning that front edge because that front edge needs to be perfect where it meets the wall. Now, check that out. That's a perfect fit. Now, in this case, I wanted to show you this, too, because this is a little bit different case. Um, I've got a, a, a spot where I don't actually have to scribe the entire length of this counter, and you'll see in a second. I want, I want to make sure is the back edge of the counter is flush with the back of the cabinet. And go ahead, and I'm cutting that same half inch off. 
And in this particular case, all I have to do is fine tune that guy since that's the, the only part that needs to be scribed, those two ends, it doesn't take but a few minutes. Um, make sure not to back bevel that because that's going to be visible. Now as I flip this piece over, you can see I don't even need to take off those shims from the wall because my relief cut goes around those shims. And in a second you'll see why this doesn't matter. So this is the upper cabinet. As you can see, that um, panel where the TV is going to go is brought forward so it bypasses the back wall. All right, so here's the completed project. I just thought you guys would like to see how I put countertops in. Let me know in the comments what you think, and please, if you haven't already, subscribe and like the video. Certainly appreciate it. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.